We moved to the mountains to um, you know, have a little peace, but it didn't work out that way. Six months ago today, morning turned to night as black smoke transformed paradise into hell on earth. 85 people lost their lives, but thousands more made it out of the inferno. Tonight, we bring you one family story of survival. That's what you saw that morning, and you looked out and you said, This isn't your regular fire. Yeah, yeah, that's right out my window. One look at this, and Milton Hansen and his wife Shun knew it was time to leave. Hey, guys! And we ran really good. We got in the cars and we were gone. That journey out would be painfully slow. It took the Hansons four hours to go 25 miles. Every excruciating moment from that morning lingers, like the smoke did for weeks after the inferno. It destroyed this Army veteran's dream home in Megalia, and Milton knew he would never return to his slice of paradise. It's a new beginning, you know, you, you go through life and find yourself in a bad situation, but you can't look back. You just have to keep going forward. It doesn't feel like home quite yet. Going forward meant buying and moving in to this fixer-upper in Fair Oaks. Does it seem like it's been six months? No, no, mm -mm. because I've been so busy working on the house. Does it feel like home yet? Uh, no, it doesn't feel like home quite yet. Not quite yet, but he knows it'll get there. We still have to do the floors, repaint the kitchen. And as you can see, there's we're putting new doors on, on everything. You can picture it, right? Yeah, I got it all in my head. That's a scary thought. A daunting task, but it comes with a comforting thought, symbolized by the only picture on their wall. But isn't this what it's all about, the family and mm -hmm. you guys, and, and mm -hmm. you survived? Obviously, we say it before, mm -hmm. things can be replaced, but oh, yeah, you guys that's are still standing. That's here. the only thing that matters is we're alive. All right, June, the Hansons are home. Yeah. Milton and his wife, Shun, lost everything, but there is one thing that emerged from the ashes from that hellish morning. Look at this angel. It stood in front of Milton's home. It is still standing. You bet it'll go up in front of his new home, keeping watch and reminding Milton and his wife every day how precious life is.